I will review some recommended anatomy education apps on portable handheld devices. Since Apple handheld devices such as iPhone, iPad and iPod are most popular, I will confine myself to iTunes Store. The first app I would like to show you is Moore's Clinical Anatomy Questions and Answers. Now this is a companion to Moore's textbook Clinically Oriented Anatomy. It contains USMLE exam style questions covering all body regions. Uh, you can see here for example you have questions browser uh, you can check all the questions or you can check the questions according to chapters of the book so for example here let's check question in the first chapter the thorax according to the region question 4 for example a 23 year old man attending a cocktail party suddenly began to choke a friend performed the Hemlich maneuver although he seemed to be somewhat better it was not long before he began to cough again and when asked what he had been eating when he started to choke, he said peanuts. Now bronchoscopy revealed a large object in a bronchus. In which one of the following places would the foreign object most likely be located? So now you choose one of the following answers. And the best choice here is the right main bronchus. As you know, uh, that the right main bronchus is uh, shorter, wider, and more in line with the trachea than the left main bronchus that's why foreign bodies are most likely to lodge in the right main bronchus I will choose the right main bronchus I can check the answer the answer is correct and in addition to that uh, each multiple choice question includes a rationale to further explain the answer so you can check the rationale here the correct answer is B because this bronchus is wider shorter runs more vertically than the left main bronchus and so on this is true for all uh, other questions you can bookmark the questions um, um, uh, actually there are a lot of customizations to sort the questions by content area previously answered questions uh, quiz length and as I said you can bookmark questions to save difficult questions for um, future study the um, uh, next app is Anatomy Lectures. Um, actually, the, this is part of a series of lectures on different parts or regions of the body. Here we have the thorax and um, abdomen. And these lectures are presented through a series of uh, diagrams with accompanying audio. For example, here the subjects covered, as you can see by lecture, there is the th thoracic surface anatomy, the um, heart and pericardium. This is in the thorax and the abdomen, small and large bowel and the pelvis. There is the pelvis and female reproductive organs and so on. Let's check one of the um, lectures like thoracic surface anatomy. Again, this is Robert Whitaker with a further podcast. On this occasion, we're going to look at the surface anatomy of the thoracic cage. In clinical practice, it's essential that we understand the extent of the pleural cavities and the surface anatomy of the heart and the major vessels. Of course, you can pose uh, and then resume upwards through the thoracic intercom, but not above the back of it. The lung, of course, extends into the apex of the And you can go cavity. to uh, slides one by one. Like this is the next to slide. The divisions of the mediastinum. You we can see know, here three of six. Of the Next. We're going to leave the middle mediastinum because that, of course, is containing the heart. And, and so we'll on. Talk about that in a separate and go back to the index. Similarly, there is another app on the head and neck. So, for example, here we have the bones of the skull. Hello again, this is Robert Whitaker on the bones of the skull. Now, it's very difficult to do justice to such a large subject in a short podcast. So let's start with the frontal bone. Now, although the frontal bone ossifies from two centers, they do few, and it articulates with the parietal bones posteriorly on the, and a little bit Next more towards slide. the orbit with the lacrimal bones. And then posteriorly in the orbit, it up. 
Now let's pass backwards and look at the parietal bones. There are, of course, and we can see that and that so takes up much of the posterior part of the skull, articulating on each side with the respective parietal. In addition, coming from the same author, is um, Instant Anatomy Flashcards. This application provides learners of human anatomy with diagrams or flashcards for learning, revision, or as a quick reference guide. Here you can search. For example, I will check the facial nerve. So facial nerve, facial nerve lesion. And so here you can see um, this is a flashcard for the facial nerve lesion. I can check a flashcard on the pericardium. So we have heart pericardium, pericardium relations, pericardial sinuses. Let's check the sinuses. And this is a flashcard um, regarding the pericardial sinuses. Such uh, flashcards, as I said, they are u very useful revision and as a quick reference guide. The other app is um, it's a radiology software. It's called iCAT X-rays HD. It's a radiology software and correlating uh, plain radiographic anatomy. Uh, radiographs are arranged by region according to the radiographic exposure and for each position there's a labeled normal x-ray that is provided. For example here we can see the skull. This is a lateral view of the skull. shows the positioning of the patient during the x-ray and you can see the x-ray as well here enlarge a little bit and there is a labeled x-ray here another x-ray let's uh, check for example a chest x-ray posterior anterior view this is again the positioning of the patient and this is the x-ray labeled x-ray you can see enlarge to go into more details uh, plain radiographs are only included in this uh, app. Uh, another one is, um, let's check like the KUB, kidney, ureter, and bladder, plain abdominal x-ray. And again, you can see the features um, that are labeled on this x-ray. It is uh, useful for showing the normal radiographic anatomy on plain x-rays. Another app is the Sliced Sapiens HD. Uh, this is a, a free volunteer effort. Actually, no labels are provided. And um, it is uh, part of the Visible Human Mapping Project. Uh, the goal is the ability to accurately choose the section through the human body for presentation with the ability of bookmarking the section. So here you can see, for example, we can check a horizontal section from the body. We can move the pointer to choose the level, for example, here at this level. And this is what appears in the horizontal section. No labels are provided. We can move from here to the uh, next section or uh, we can go back to home and move the section a little bit down to go into the thorax and check the sections of the thorax. Again, move. And we can bookmark the section to return back to it again. Also, you can uh, use uh, coronal sections. So, for example, here I will move the pointer to reach the level of the coronal section that I need, just in front of the vertebral column. And this is the coronal section that I have. Or I can get a, a sagittal section. Uh, I can move the pointer, the level of the sagittal section, to almost the mid sagittal level now. I'm getting almost mid-sagittal plane. You can see here. And then I can move the section to one side of the body. Parasagittal sections. The other useful app is 
case files in anatomy. Actually, the case file series includes titles concerning other disciplines like physiology and pathology and many, many other medical and basic medical sciences uh, discipline. The free app includes one sample case study from 53 cases. The first case is case 1. And these are the case listings that you have. You have, for example, Achilles tendon, anterior cruciate ligament rupture, atrial fibrillation, Bell's palsy, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, cirrhosis, epistaxis, gallstones, herpes zoster. Each case is designed as a problem in a clinical anatomy in the context of a real patient. So, for example, here, a 32-year-old woman delivered a large baby vaginally after some difficulty with her labor her prenatal course was complicated by diabetes which occurred during pregnancy at delivery the infant's head emerged but the shoulders were stuck so the shoulders were stuck behind the symphysis pubis requiring the obstetrician to apply some effort and maneuvers to free up the infant's shoulders and complete the delivery the infant was noted to have a good cry and pink color but not moving it's right arm. So, most likely this is related to a nerve lesion. So, what is most likely diagnosis? What's the most likely etiology of this condition? And what's most likely anatomical mechanism of this uh, disorder? You can check the answers and explanations. These are the answers, the clinical correlation. It deals with the anatomy of the brachial plexus. We'll talk about the, um, this kind of injury and other kinds of injuries of the brachial plexus. And finally, after the short answer questions that follow each case, there is a number of relevant USMLE style questions that is related to the topic which is being discussed and covered by the case. These are the questions. The A-type questions with a vignette and uh, five options. If you like to proceed, uh, then you have to buy the full app in order to open the other uh, cases. The other app is NeuroRad. And this application comes with an excellent neuroradiology atlas and is useful in the interpretation of imaging of the brain. There are three main sections available, the atlas here, it includes a fully labeled anatomic structure, multiplanar MRI atlas of the brain with axial, sagittal, and coronal images. So, for example, here this is a sagittal image, and you can see the labels, fully labeled MRI sections. You can move or you can choose the uh, axial sections. coronal sections. In addition to that, there is a colorized vascular territory atlas and multiple arterial and venous CT and MRI and geography atlases. See, for example, here, this is the arterial supply. Note, for example, uh, this blue region is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery. Here, uh, in this section, showing the area of supply of the three cerebral arteries, anterior, uh, middle, and posterior cerebral arteries, and so on. There are some angiographic films, MR angiography, arterial and venous side, And in addition, there are organized internet links up to date to useful neuroradiology and related websites, like, for example, here, General Radiology. These are publications and journals on general radiology. References, anatomy, neuroanatomy, links, like, for example, the whole brain atlas here.
normal brain, normal anatomy in 3D with MRI PET. And you can check many of these links and references. The other app is the Brain and Nervous System Pro 3. And it features multiple slices on the transverse sagittal and coronal planes to reveal the inner anatomy of the brain. It has a good level of detail and interactivity. This is the nervous system, the central and peripheral nervous system as a whole. We can swipe to rotate. And here are the slices. So we'll check uh, brain, uh, for example, brain transverse section. And now we can cut a slice, swipe to go back, check other slices like coronal section, and we can cut a slice move move the slice by dragging the red line and we can uh, show the pins like for example here this is a middle frontal gyrus and in addition uh, also shows the pronunciation middle frontal gyrus false cerebri with uh, a definition as well of the structure so you can see that it has a good level of detail and interactivity it also features animations which offer insights into functional anatomy down to cellular level. Like for example here this is an animation on cerebrospinal fluid. This is an animated presentation on cerebrospinal fluid. production, circulation, and drainage of the cerebrospinal fluid at the arachnoid villi and arachnoid granulations. Now exit video. You can draw on any screen and add it to the diagram. And uh, you can share it via email, Facebook, Twitter. Now I'm sharing my drawing by email. It also contains quizzes, two types of quizzes, drag and drop and multiple choice quizzes. There are multiple settings for these quizzes. So like there's a timer, like we'll put it off. Um, you can choose the area to be tested. For example, head and neck here only, not the peripheral nervous system. And drag and drop type of quiz. I will start. Okay, the quiz is not available in the portrait orientation. Start. Please drag the bubble to the appropriate pin. C1 nerve, it's not here. C3 nerve. Phrenic nerve, greater occipital nerve, C5 nerve of brachial plexus, superior trunk, C3 nerve, this is the C3 I think, yeah, posterior cutaneous branch of first intercostal nerve, and then we will go to another quiz, superior temporal sulcus, globus pallidus, external segment, cutamen, Inferior temporal gyrus, superior temporal sulcus, middle frontal gyrus, and so on. The other software is eAnatomy. This is an atlas of human anatomy. In the free app, you may try two modules for free before purchasing the detailed anatomy atlas. So, for example, here, the cranial nerves module, 
you have 15 diagrams this is one of 15 diagrams and you have a, a gallery of diagrams regarding the cranial nerves like this is the uh, optic nerve showing the visual pathway and um, the lesions that are encountered at different points in the visual pathway and as you can see here you can sort the diagrams by region or by modality like anatomy diagrams MR images for example here we have MR images of the brain labeled serial MRI axial MRI sections 24 of them Uh, you can locate any structure identified in a module using the search indexer for example here like if we want to search like for the caudate nucleus so that's the body head and tail of the caudate nucleus let's check the tail of the caudate nucleus so this is the region of the tail of the caudate nucleus Again, uh, the free app contains only two modules and you may add by buying uh, other modules like musculoskeletal e-anatomy modules, thorax, abdomen and pelvis e-anatomy modules, head and neck e-anatomy modules and so on. The other app is Netter's Anatomy Atlas and uh, it contains Dr. Netter's most famous illustrations of human anatomy in the form of an interactive study guide enhanced with quizzes and customization uh, features. Here this is the free app uh, showing only part of these uh, diagrams so we will go by region for example we will check the lateral skull uh, this is the lateral skull showing the labels uh, you can enlarge you can uh, show or remove the uh, labels this is another uh, lateral view skull x-ray another view nerves and vessels of the cranial base and you can take a quiz like for example 10 questions here question 1 please identify the location of the parietal bone this is the parietal bone correct supraorbital notch or foramen the vomer in the nasal septum and you can go to the index uh, check for any keyword like the ethmoid ethmoidal bone so it will show you the slide or the diagram in which the ethmoid bone is located and um, you can also um, bookmark these diagrams uh, you may check a video demo of this app on YouTube for over 20 years Netter's Atlas of Human Anatomy has been the world's leading and best-selling anatomy atlas and now Netter Atlas for iPad the instructive and beautiful work of Dr. Netter is your intuitive and interactive study guide Never before has the Atlas been so easy to navigate. From the home page, let me play this quick. Another app, the Brain MRI Atlas. And this is a free app that allows you to navigate through hundreds of labeled brain structures as they appear in serial, sequential, axial MRI images of the brain. So here we have 31 of these sections, and we can navigate through these sections labeled sections it's a simple free app but it is very useful for neuroanatomy another app is iTunes U 
the U stands for University, and this app gives you access to courses from leading universities. Um, the course material including audio, video, books, documents, presentations, and so on. There are some recommended iTunes used for podcasts and videos to download or subscribe. I will check some of them here, Anatomy, Search. One of the beautiful ones is the collection of clinical anatomy by Stanford University. And uh, the videos are presented by Professor Richard Snell. You can see subjects here, thorax, abdomen, pelvis, some uh, videos related to the head and neck as well. These are the durations of each of the videos. Let's check, for example, here, anatomy of the heart. You can see that the video is presented by Professor Snell uh, with blackboard drawings. Very useful, very nice drawings. Which I'll indicate in this manner, which is the right auricular appendix. In the same way, coming around from the back of the heart, we have from the left atrium, and the left coronary artery, which goes behind the pulmonary trunk and then goes over the back of the heart with the anterior interventricular branch coming around to the apex of the heart. Please note that the apex of the heart is formed by the left ventricle. Now, where are the veins? Well, we have... Uh, you may download these videos into the anterior surface and view them the offline. Surface, the right atrium. It's called the anterior cardiac vein. And we have running up alongside... The other collection which I recommend is the one that is published by the University of Michigan. It contains cadaveric dissection and osteology, mainly covering the head and neck because it is intended to be delivered to dentistry students. However, other parts of the body are also included. For example, the thorax here, we can download 24 minutes, 6 seconds. Remove all of the structures that came down from the X as those of the external and internal abdominal oblique muscles. Here is another one on the scalp and cranial However, contents. It lasts for 16 minutes, 27 seconds. ...hemispheres from the cerebellar hemispheres, so that only uh, the lower part of the brain and then the spinal cord would project through this opening. This is the tentorium cerebelli, the tent covering the cerebellum. There is another one from the same university, Dental Anatomy. Which concentrates mainly on the region of the head and neck. So here we have a skull. Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. Anteriorly, behind the maxillary incisor teeth, is located the nasopalatine or incisive foramen for transmission of the nasopalatine nerve and the septal artery and vein. Now let us take a look at some links of online social networks. We we'll start with Facebook. The use of online social networks like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter in an educationally relevant context can change the way students learn and communicate as well as improve interactions between faculty and students. There is a recommended Facebook page to follow. This is the Human Anatomy page. It uh, is intended to support classroom teaching with comments, links, questions, pictures and interactions that emphasize selected aspects of anatomy including cross-sectional imaging, surgical, clinical and surface anatomy. Although you may browse the content on your laptop but actually I prefer to use this app on iPhone and iPad because especially if the page is using the timeline view makes things much easier. Um, here you can see that there are a lot of pictures, questions, interactions
like for example here this is an, an MRI for identification of some of the structures students can like comment and start online discussions uh, these discussions are generally they are guided and facilitated by the tutor multiple choice questions students answer and comment video links this is a female in the mid 40s who's had a hoarse voice progressively normal in the operating room the mass has a very granular. There are some histology questions. Links to Human Anatomy Education YouTube channel. And it is the widest diameter of the inlet, equal to 13.5 centimeter. The Students are also encouraged to submit their own pictures and diagrams there are topics related to the history of anatomy art and anatomy this is an example of a diagram that is supplied by one of the students there are links to other human anatomy education sites this is another diagram submitted by students Another app that is related to online social networks is the YouTube app and this is a built-in app that can be used to access YouTube vast collection of educational material. One of the recommended channels on YouTube is a human anatomy education channel. This channel aims to support classroom teaching with videos that are captured from cadaveric dissection, plastinated specimens and sections, plastic models, bones, radiographs, and PowerPoint presentations. Also, there are histology, photomicrographs, surface anatomy demonstrations, and surgical operations. Some self-assessment videos are provided in the form of steeplechase exam, in which answers and explanations are provided. This is an example of a dissection video, thoracic wall, Um, I have made a, a cut. This is another example of uh, cross-sectional and imaging anatomy. The anatomical sections that I'm going to show you are arranged to match the CT and MRI sections. So you can see here, for example, the videos uh, deal with the anatomy of abdominal viscera and walls as they appear in transverse anatomical sections and axial CT sections. This is the liver on the right side and the region of the porta hepatis where you can see the portal vein. This is one of its branches of the portal vein. You can see some other vessels here. Uh, this one, uh, this is, uh, should belong to the hepatic. This is an example of a diagrammatic representation of the anatomy of the celiac trunk. You can notice that with each of these videos, there is some descriptive First, notes. The structures that are supplied by the celiac trunk that are added. It is also important to mention that the celiac. So you can see here that the description goes on as the diagram is drawn. And uh, as I've just mentioned that there are descriptive notes that provide the objectives of each video here. And of course, uh, you can, uh, through this app, you can uh, browse uh, related videos. For example, here videos that are related to the uh, 
um, blood supply of the abdomen and the celiac trunk and the stomach. You can also view the comments of the viewers and you can add your own comments. You may ask questions and uh, start online uh, discussion. And also you can see the other videos that are provided uh, by the same channel. There is another Web2 based social network uh, that's called SlideShare and this is based on sharing slides that are uploaded by the users. The files that are shared are mainly PowerPoint and PDF files but uh, other files can also be shared and here you can join uh, Akram Jaffar's account and uh, you see here that there are some PowerPoint presentations. The website, the SlideShare, is considered to be similar to YouTube but for slideshows. Uh, SlideShare also provides users the ability to rate, comment on and share the uploaded content. I'll show you an example of one of the slideshows. This is a slideshow on the skull, osteology of the skull. And you can view the slides on the site itself. This is another slideshow. on the ankle joint and joints of the foot. SlideShare was voted amongst the world top 10 tools for education and e-learning in 2010. Finally, regarding social networks, there is the Twitter account and here you can link to Akram Jaffar account this is my profile and tweets. So you can see that in addition to following your interests and receiving updates of what's happening around the world, you may also follow some anatomy education tweets that are provided by this account or you may also follow the uh, list, anatomy list that is provided in my account and uh, this you can consider as a starting point after which you may tweet, retweet, favorite, follow on your own. Finally, in my opinion, technological tools cannot completely replace classroom interactive teaching. However, digital material is helpful in supporting independent learning, in enhancing students' motivation and in stimulating group discussions. Digital software provides students with the opportunity to learn outside the classroom since they have the advantage of round-the-clock availability.